Hello and welcome to this lesson on numeracy, multiplying mixed and improper fractions. Um, the main uh, aim of this lesson is to teach you how to multiply mixed fractions, to simplify fractions and to use your times tables facts whilst you're doing that. This is the second part of a numeracy lesson that we focused on last time, which was looking at multiplying fractions in general. Um, so if you haven't watched that, um, have a look for it um, on the YouTube channel. I'll try and link it below and um, for those that are interested. So let's make a start. Now, last uh, time we looked at fractions, we looked specifically at just multiplying, for example, three quarters multiplied by, say, a half, or two thirds multiplied by uh, you know, one third, things like that. And we're going to look at mixed fractions. So what a mixed fraction is, is one of these. So the last time we had a lesson, we looked at the concept of a whole one and fractions. And the fact that the large number here represents a whole one, this large rep number represents three whole ones. And a whole one would be, for example, a whole pizza. So in this case, if we look across here, to give you a little example, we've got, just for this fraction here, if we ignore our three for now, one and a half, or one whole one, and one half, if it was a pizza, would look a little bit like this. One whole one and a half. If I asked you how many halves, this is a half, were in one and a half, you could count, you go one, two, three, and that would tell you there are three halves. How you would write that is like this, and this right here isn't a mixed fraction, sometimes it's called an improper fraction, improper fraction. It's where the number at the top is larger the number at the bottom and it can be expressed as a mixed or improper. Now we're going to cover how to actually turn a mixed fraction into an improper fraction using our times tables we're not, where we don't actually need to look at pictures but we'll cover that in a minute. We're not going to cover that at the moment. Let's just assume that this has been turned into an improper fraction. Three halves and we want to multiply that by three. Now you could turn this into a fraction and multiply them together but in all honesty when I was teaching my classes the easier way of doing it in my opinion is just to multiply these three whole ones by the top number. So multiply this number and this number together. Okay three times three equals give you a chance to do it nine and we keep this the same okay so so far the answer is nine out of two three threes are nine and two stays the same so it's nine over two or nine halves now nine halves actually wouldn't be our answer because nine halves is an improper fraction and we don't like giving improper fractions as answers we prefer to give them as a mixed number if we can how do we then turn this into a mixed number we've got a number of whole ones and a number of fractions well the answer is here or the method is here how many times does two the bottom number go into the top number okay so can i divide that top number so nine by the bottom number which is two and what will i get well nine divided by two if we were doing it let's do it over here and you do it in your head or you could do it on the sum 2 goes into 9, how many times? We'll go through our 2's times tables. 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 5 is 10, that's too many, so it's 4. And we have 1 left over. Okay, so the answer is 4 remainder 1. Now, when we say 4 remainder 1, we're talking about halves. Because that's, that's where the 2 came from. So we have 4 whole ones and one half left over, okay? Four whole ones, one, two, three, four, and one half left over, which gives you four and a half. Four whole ones and one half left over, which gives you four and a half. The next example we're going to look at, and we're going to use our pizza pies again to help us. So we have three whole ones, and a quarter, three and a quarter multiplied by two whole ones. 
three and a quarter multiplied by two. So first things first, we need to turn our mixed number into an improper fraction so we can multiply it. And then when we have our answer, we'll turn our answer back into a mixed number. So first things first, one whole one and a quarter would be like this. We haven't got one whole one, however. We've got three whole ones. So we have to imagine that this here, this pizza, is multiplied by three. Okay, so how many quarters, we'll put one left over here, would we have all together in here? Well, if one whole one had four, two whole ones would be another four, that would be eight. Three whole ones would be another four, that would be twelve. And one quarter left over will be 13 quarters, 13 out of 4. So we've got our improper fraction, and we multiply that by 2. And remember, we don't need to worry about the bottom number. That can stay the same. We multiply just the top number by this, okay? 13 multiplied by 2, which is 26. So 26 quarters, or 26 out of 4. Again, now we need to turn 26 out of 4, or 26 quarters, into a mixed number. So we say, okay, we divide the top number by the bottom number, and that will give us our answer. So 26 divided by 4, or how many times does 4 go into 26? Let's work it out. 26, 4. If you knew your 4 times tables, you should know it quite quickly, but let's do it individually. 4 into 2 doesn't go, it's too small, so we carry our 2 over, 4 into 26, so if we're going through our 4 times tables, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, well 28 is too many, so we'll go back to 24, how do we get 24? Uh, 6 times 4 is 24, and we have 24, 25, 26, 2 left over, 6, remainder two we would have six whole ones six whole ones and two quarters left over six whole ones and two quarters left over now that would nearly be the answer but a lot of the sums that you will do will ask you to give it as its lowest common form or simplest form of fraction so two quarters if you remember our last lesson can be broken down and we look at that by saying is there a number that divides into two but also divides into four and if you remember we always talk about does the number itself work does five work or does ten work so does two go into two it does once does two go into four it does it goes twice so the actual answer will be six whole ones and a half or six and two quarters now for this last one here we're going to look at one more time we're going to look at uh, the pizza pie method with a bigger one now it's a bit harder this time with three whole ones and three fifths multiplied by three whole ones. So again, we have to turn our mixed fraction into an improper fraction. So we have to look here and go one whole one and one fifth, just to show you an example. So one whole one would be how many pieces if it was split up into five? One, two, three, four, five. So two whole ones would be another five, that'll be 10. And three whole ones would be another five, and that'll be 15. And we have three of these left over because it's three fifths. So 15, 16, 17, 18. So it's 18 fifths. So 18 fifths or 18 over five multiplied by three. Remember, we just multiply the top number by three. We don't multiply the bottom when it stays the same. 18 times three, and you may have to do a bit of uh, long multiplication for this one or written multiplication. If you don't know it, oh, wrong one there, but five times the mistake. Easy to make a silly mistake. Uh, 3 times 8 is 24. If we put down our 2 and carry our 4. 3 times 1 is 3. And 2 is 5. It's 54. So it's 54 over 5. Or 54 fifths. Now, again, we have 54 fifths. Or 54 over 5. We now have to turn it into 
a mixed number, so whole ones and with fractions. And again, the same method as before, how many times does 5, the bottom number, go into the top number, or the top number divided by the bottom number, 54 divided by 5. Again, you may need to do a bit of uh, dividing. Let's do this here. And we're going to be very, as neat as we can be. So 54 divided by 5. Fix that. 5 goes into 5 once, 5 goes into 4, doesn't go to, at all. 0 times, remainder 4. So it goes in 10 times with 4 left over. 10 times, 10 whole ones with 4 left over. And we're working in fifths, so it's 4 fifths left over. 4 fifths left over. 10 and 4 fifths. Now, if we imagine this time we do the same type of sum, but we don't have any of those pizza pies to help us, so we have no pizza pies to work it out. Is there a way of working out, especially this first part here, of actually turning this first one, two whole ones and two thirds, into a improper fraction? Because currently it's a mixed fraction, we want to turn it into an improper fraction. And there is. And what you do is you multiply... The, two, the whole ones by the bottom number, first of all, so 2 times 3, which is 6. And then you add on, I'll just do a wee x there, and then you add on the number at the top. And that gives you 8. And that's how many there is out of 3. Okay, so multiply... Two whole ones multiplied by the bottom number, and then you add on the top number, and that's how many there is out of three. And that is exactly the same math as we did earlier, but actually it just involves numbers. So multiply the bottom number, add on the top number, and keep this the same. Okay? So eight out of three. And now we're going to multiply that by four. Four whole ones, remember. So same method as before. We only multiply these two, the top numbers. Eight times four is 32. And that's out of 3. And now we need to turn 32 out of 3 into, into a mixed fraction. So we divide the top number by the bottom number. So 32 divided by 3. 3 goes into 3 once. 3 goes into 2. It doesn't. So it's 10. Remainder 2. So it goes in 10 times with 1 third left over. How do I know it's a third? Because thirds are the fraction we're working with all through this example. Let's use a different example. Let's use a different example. Okay. Uh, three and a half multiplied by three. Three and a half multiplied by three. Okay. Uh, okay, so we have to turn our three and a half into an improper fraction. So we multiply the bottom number together. We know that the answer will be out of two because it always stays the same. So three multiplied by two is six. Add our one on, which is seven. So it's seven out of two. Seven out of two multiplied by three. We multiply just the top number together. Seven times three is 21. The bottom number stays the same. The bottom number stays the same the whole way through this, pretty much. 21 over 2. How do we turn this into a, a mixed fraction? Well, we see how many times does 21, uh, is it, can we divide into 2? Or how many times can uh, 2 go into 21? So we could write it out if we wanted to, but I'm sure you probably know already. 2 goes into 2 once. 2 goes into 1 zero times with 1 left over. So it's 10 and one half. Ten and one half. Now, what if it's slightly different? What if you are multiplying two mixed fractions together? Two mixed fractions together. Well, the first thing you do is you turn them both into, oh, look here, there we go, just in here, are improper fractions. Okay, turn them both into improper fractions. So we do exactly the same as we did previously. 1 multiplied by 2. Well, we know that this is going to be 2 here. 1 multiplied by 2 is 2. 
add on one, it's three. Okay. We know that two and one fifth, the answer is going to be fifths. We already know that. But two times five is 10. And then add one is 11. Okay. Now, now we need to work out how this goes together. What we now do is we simply multiply the top line and the bottom line. So 3 times 11 is 33. And 2 times 5 is 10. So it looks like that. Now again, we this is an improper fraction. The number at the top is bigger than one at the bottom. We can't have that. So we have to find a way of making that into a mixed number. So we do the same thing we've done for the past examples. We divide the top number by the bottom number, which means we go 33 divided by 10. How many times does 10 go into 3? It doesn't, so we put it at 0. How many times does it go into 33? Three times, remainder 3. Our answer will be tenths. Okay, but it's going to be, oh, sorry, my mistake, not tens. Our answer will be three whole ones, okay, and three tens. Three whole ones and three tens. Give you another example. Two whole ones and a half multiplied by two whole ones and three quarters. Two and a half multiplied by two and three quarters. Well, first things first, we need to turn these into improper fractions. This is in halves, so we know this is going to be dealing in halves. So we do 2 times 2, and that's 4. Add on 1, and that's 5. This is dealing in quarters, so we know it's going to be quarters. 2 times 4 is 8. Add on 3 is 11. Now, we multiply the top line and the bottom line. 5 times 11 is 55. 3 times 4 is it so now we have to work out how this can be turned into a mixed fraction and we have to go 55 top number divided by the bottom number let's have a look 8 into 5 doesn't go we carry our 5 over here 8 into 55 we'll go through our 8 times tables so we're going through 8 times 5 is 40 and 8 times 6 is 48 and 8 times 7 56, just too many, so it must be 8 times 6, which is 48, so that leaves us, well, we've, four, oh, 8 times 6, 48, we have 5, 7 left over, so 6 whole ones, and 7, and we're dealing with 8, so it's 7 eighths, 6 whole ones, and 7 eighths, remember the fraction in this answer is always going to be the same as whatever this is here, 6 and 7 eighths. And the last example I'll give you for this is 2 and a third multiplied by 3 and 2 out of 2. Which is a bit of a trick when you think about it, but we'll come to it in a minute. Um, so we've got 2 and a third, so we'll turn these into improper fractions. Well, we're dealing with thirds here, so it's going to be thirds. 2 times 3 is 6 and 1 is 7. 7 out of 3, or 7 thirds. And we're dealing with 2s here. 3 times 2 is 6, and 2 is 8. We're dealing with 8s here. Same as usual, we multiply the top number and the bottom number. 7 times 8 is 56. 3 times 2 is 6. How many times does 6 go into 56? So we divide the top number by the bottom number. 6 goes into 5, 0 times. Carry our 5 over. 6 goes into 56. So we go through our 6 times tables right well i happen to know for doing let's do six times six that's 36 six times seven is 42 six times eight mm -hmm. what's that gonna be 48 six times nine 54 six times ten is 60 well, it has to be nine because six times nine is 54 and we have two left over so it's nine whole ones and two sixths nine whole ones and two sixths if you're being very clever you will know that we can break this two out of six down even further okay if we go two goes into two once and two goes into six three times those are nine and a third 
I hope this has been helpful um, when you're tackling uh, multiplying mixed fractions. It can be a bit complicated, but if you try and remember those rules, then you should be able to complete them no problem. Thanks for watching. If you want any more information or like more videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks.